Let's go to first half action at St. Paul's Abbey and watch Jenny Mason of Newton run down this through ball, beat the keeper, and then nudge the ball into the four corner and the Braves take a quick 1-0 lead five minutes into the match. But Kittatinny gets a chance to tie the game here as Newton is called for a handball and Megan Hayes goes to the near post and we are tied at one apiece. It was the Kittatinny Superstars' 15th goal of the season. Okay, Kittatinny looks to head to its lead here as Gabby Kurick makes a run, but Newton keeper Julia Perry comes off the line and makes the stop before collecting the ball to keep it tied at one apiece. But the Cougars take the lead here on this great run by Gabby Kerwick as she holds off the defender as she chips it into the back of the net and Kittatinny takes a 2-1 lead with 15 minutes left in the first half. Kittatinny looks to add to its lead here as Megan Hayes sends the cross into the box with Julia Perry makes a terrific save to rob Alyssa Mano to keep it a one-goal game. And watch Perry do it again as Megan Hayes makes a run and tries to go near post only to be denied by Perry who kept Newton in this match all day as Kittatinny holds a 2-1 lead at the half. Okay, second half we go. Watch Newton sophomore Heather Ford strike this beautiful free kick, but it just goes under the crossbar as Kittatinny sweeper Jamie Fosalt clears the goal mouth to protect Kittatinny's 2-1 lead. All right, Kittatinny keeps the pressure on here as Megan Hayes beats the goalie, but watch freshman Haley Reska make the great clear for Newton to keep the Braves in the match. Kittatinny gets another great chance here, but Alex Tazap's shot goes high, but Kittatinny wins its fifth straight match with a key 2-1 NJAC Freedom Division win as Bill Sherman gets the post-game reaction. It's really important for us to keep winning because we're trying to get that first place. And 6-1, and one, it's a great way to start off our season. So this was a really nice win for us. It's a great team, and they're pretty good in the league, so we had to come out and win today to have a chance to keep with it. We didn't play probably quite as nice as we were hoping to. Uh, we knew it was going to be a game of momentum and letting them come out with the first goal. Certainly not the way we want to start the game, but we bounced back nicely and uh, we're able to put two in. And it was an ugly win, but we'll take a win. A strong defensive effort was led in the second half by Jamie Fasalt after Sarah Brooke went down with an injury. We try to just like clear it out and be as strong as possible. It definitely hurt, hurt us in the second half without our left defense, who got Sarah, who got hurt. But we just tried to play hard, play strong, and just be clean and sure of everything. I've been real happy with our defense all year. And then when, uh, when Sarah went down, uh, possibly with a, with a knee injury, but we think she's all right. Uh, we moved Taylor Scott back there, but Jamie had a great game, and Katie Kane's been playing real well for us at stopper, and then Harley really stepped up toward the very end of the game to win a bunch of 50-50 balls. So they certainly, uh, they certainly stepped up and played very well. Seton Hall recruit and senior midfielder Megan Hayes redeemed herself with a penalty kick early in the first half after missing one at Jefferson. I love penalty kicks, but I missed one against Jefferson right at the end of the game, and we ended up losing that, so I had to come out and uh, make that this game. With the win, Kittatinny moves to 6-1, and one, their best start in program history. I can't remember a season. When I was a freshman in our first winning season, I can't remember a season when we've done this well. I can't remember when we've had a team this well. It's been crucial. Like We're actually like getting school recognition now. It's, it's, big, it's big for Kittatinny varsity girls soccer. It's probably the best season we've ever had so far, which is really nice. Uh, you know, we, we lost the first game to Jefferson. We got to see him again next week, so we're, we're hoping we, uh, we fare a little bit better. But it's always exciting when you win, and from a program that hasn't had a great history, it uh, keeps the girls very excited.